What's going on guys and just before we get into this World Cup club tour I figured I'd just let you know that if you guys would like to buy any coins you can check out the footshop.com Link will be down in the description if you use CalFreeZ at checkout you will get a discount So go ahead and do that and uh, enjoy the uh, little pack opening and club tour What's going on ladies and gentlemen and today I'm going to be opening up just a few packs and also doing a World Cup club tour Just to show you guys what I have gotten so far So hopefully it should be pretty good and uh, let, me, let me just open up probably open about 100k worth the packs and then I'll show you guys what we've got um, in total from everything and uh, I'd love it if you guys could let me know what have you guys managed to pick up in your club so far um, which players do you manage to get who are your best who are your worst all that good stuff so let's get into these packs let's see what, is, what are we getting in this one whoa plenty of players here we actually got Boateng that's not too bad skip 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 what did we get nothing oh Giroud oh look at that Shame is shit, but I'll hold on to him. Skip, skip, skip again, and we get. Oh, this guy's actually might be off to Arsenal from what I heard. He could be on his way. That'd be pretty interesting if that happens. But yeah. Skip. Oh, look how many players we got here, and not a single above 74 or 75 even. Well, he got that pace though. I'm happy. Please, yeah, let's get something tasty. Oh dear. Spinning ball of golden goodness. Skip. And we get Vorm. And, oh, we do. Let's see it. Oh, we get a Brazilian. Oh, a Cam Kaka. That's actually awesome. Who, who are we going to have today? Who are we going to have? We got Mendez. We got Shirla and Lucas. Now, that is what I'm talking about. That is a tasty pack. And we get Lulic, too. Uh, and Paulinho, as well. Damn, that was a pack full of Brazilians there. That is a that is one of the better packs that you're gonna get in the World Cup. Skip, 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 skip this. Marchetti. All right, so we're about oh, and Butlin there, and we're about to have our very last pack. Let's see. Let's find out what's gonna be in it. Right, skip last pack. What are we gonna get on the front? We got some Mexican chap. Inside we got Bernard there. Oh my God, he is one pacey mofo. And that's going to wrap it up for this little pack opening. Let's head on over and check out what I've got in my... Oh, let me just uh, discard that. Um, let's head on over and check out some of the players I already have and give you guys a bit of a club tour, even though it will be relatively small. Hey guys, so this is my current starting eleven. This is a team I've been using uh, recently. It's I wouldn't say it's the best team out there, but it's certainly a decent one. Um, the, the probably the worst part about it is uh, the combination of strikers. I think ne Negredo is amazing, but Benzema for me really isn't all that great. If I'm perfectly honest with you, here are some of my other striker options that I have. I managed to pack Falcao. Um, I have the footage of it somewhere, but uh, I just really cannot be arsed to uh, go ahead and find it. it. Is in a huge pile of uh, pack opening footage but uh yeah so i got falcao a uh, closer there's also pretty good uh most of my top strikers are actually um part of the european uh governing body bit um you know that that part um also jackson martinez of course south american would just be he uh, well you guys if you guys watch my video where i made a south american side and pretty much tried to go ahead and win the uh, world cup you saw the damage that that big guy did this guy is a monster uh fernando torres haven't really tried him out benteke of course he is quality on this game uh, Boney, his pace just uh, it isn't really there, you know, it's not really that good, but at the same time, he is still a really good player on this game, his shot is just ridiculous, and his heading is really, really good too, you of course got Loic Remy as well, he's got plenty of pace, um, also, uh, Alexander Pato, he's a player that I, I really like the South American sides the most, if anything, I think they're the best, in my personal opinion, I just, uh, I don't know, you just got some really quality players, and you can make some really cool teams, um, let's take a look at just in general, uh, swap players. So here are just the top ones in general that I have. Um, Falcao, of course, being the highest rated one. I have yet to get, uh, RVP, Messi, or Ronaldo. They do seem a little bit more popular this year, which is great. Uh, if you might manage to pick up any of those, I'm really, really jealous, but, um... Yeah, I haven't managed to pick up any of those bad boys. Um, also, Iniesta. Iniesta, for me, is just... I just don't like him, man. Especially in the World Cup. I feel in the World Cup mode, it's a lot more dependent on your strength. And for some reason, and you know, Iniesta just doesn't cut it for me. Um, the passing, I, I really expected his passing to be amazing. You know, 91 passing. You expect it to be some pinpoint stuff. And uh, he's like that in real life, but it just wasn't that way either. Ozil, uh, pretty good cam as well. Uh, Rooney, just his shot is lethal in this game. I also got uh, right wing David Silva. Hazard, of course, a quality, quality left midfielder. But when it comes down to it, I 
actually prefer Royce to Hazard. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I just feel as though Royce is a lot quicker and uh, he just seems to get a lot more goals for me. So it's more of a personal thing, but you guys are, you guys should try him out in the normal foot before you uh, figure out which one you want to use. And of course, it all depends on what you get in packs too. Of course, big Danny Alves there. He's got plenty of pace for me. One of the best right backs in this game. Um, Modric, I've yet to really try out. Barzagli is pretty good as well. Um, Closer, I can just imagine Closer is amazing on this game, along with Dzeko as well, actually. Just when it comes to headers, those guys would just be OP as hell. Um, kind of like Negredo as well. Negredo is really, really good in this game. Uh, you got Kadira, Xavi Martinez. Um, Xavi Martinez is what I'd pick um, ahead of Kadira, but still, um, all down to personal preference. So let's keep scrolling along. Uh, Hummels as well. He's only 83 rated, which uh, kind of comes as a surprise. Jean Moutinho, the Portuguese player. Nani in this game is supposed to be ridiculous. I need to make a team with him in it. I really, really, really want to get Ronaldo so I can have a left wing uh, Ronaldo and then a really good striker. Maybe go with someone like Negredo, possibly, and then have right wing nanny i think that would be quality of course marcelo a really good left back as well if you manage to get uh, marcelo and danny alves on the same team your full backs are going to be sorted you'll be able to you know stand up to almost any attacker in the game and uh yes yeah, so we'll just keep uh scrolling along get a quick look uh, ashley cole there as well i got eto in my starter pack actually which is pretty good and uh, got boateng in that little pack opening i just did storage the pace demon we all know uh, he's okay you know I, I he's honestly not that great he doesn't feel that fast i have to admit uh jackson martinez is so much better than him and he honestly feels faster than him as well despite being uh nine overall pace ratings below storage he just seems so so much better so uh you know, just keep that in mind. Of course, you got David Luiz. He is just a headless chicken. I spoke about him in my last World Cup video as well. Uh, looking along here, we got big Steven Gerrard. I think, I personally think, you know, if we're going off England ratings, uh, or sorry, international ratings, Gerrard should have a slightly higher one. Maybe something like an 84, but maybe I'm being a little bit biased, being a Liverpool fan and all. Uh, you got Lucas at right wing. I have yet to get Hulk. I would like to get Hulk. I reckon he'd just be deadly. Uh, the legend that is Ronaldinho Benteke. We already spoke about him. Uh, Rakitic, Wiltshire there. And, uh, yeah, Vertonghen is actually now a left-back because he plays left-back for Belgium, but he's a centre-back for Tottenham. So, uh, that's just something I noticed. that They actually got the uh, position for Vertonghen right on the World Cup, which was a nice surprise. You got big Giroud, uh, Kaka as well. Sherla, quality left midfielder. Don't feel uh, afraid to use him. He's really good. Not as good as Royce or Hazard, but I'd still reckon he is quite good. So, uh, try and use him or try and get him in packs, really, uh, as much as you can. Robinho here, not exactly my choice. I miss the days when he had like 89 pace and things like that. He used to be so fast, but my god, they have literally slaughtered his pace and it has definitely gone down. Podolski, his left foot is just absolutely brutal. You managed to take a shot with his left foot, chances are it's going to at least be on target. You got Koke there um, in uh, center midfield, which is pretty good. Uh, keep scrolling along. What else do we have here? Uh... That's really about it. You get Nasri, 79 rated actually, and he wasn't called up to the French squad, which is a bit of a surprise, but I, I, I heard that it's down to his attitude and uh, some uh, internal issues pretty much. But yeah, he wasn't picked up, and anyone on Twitter, you may have seen his girlfriend went crazy on Twitter, calling the manager like a cunt and everything, just going properly mad. Um, which uh, was a real shock, really. I just, I, I don't recommend that's not exactly the most professional move. And, uh, of course, Lloyd, Lloyd Remy got plenty of pace up there. Anyone else here? Uh, Alexander Pato. Uh, there, I, I have quite a few players here. I don't want to keep going because we're starting to get down to the... Um, the less rated players, I suppose. So we're going to stop right there. But uh, let's head on over to the uh, page where I've got the stats. Right, okay, so let's take a look at some of the stats. Um, as you guys can see, Falcao uh, played five games, three goals, three assists, which for me is a really good record. I like that a lot. Um, Iniesta, actually, you know, I, I was a bit critical of him, but I suppose in two games he did manage to get two assists. But uh, yeah, I really wasn't his biggest fan, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Uh, you got Hazard. I actually um, have yet to play a game with him just yet. Um, we got Royce there. Royce played for uh, one goal and uh, zero assists, but I just, I don't know. With Royce, I just feel as though he's so, so much better. A uh, right back to pick up one goal as well is really awesome. Um, if, he did play five games, to be fair, but still, to get a goal from right back is really, really good. Chiellini, three games, one goal. 
Uh, Negredo, unfortunately, only managed to pick up an assist, but I've only played one game with him. Uh, Diego Costa uh, played four, scored two. He was okay. He definitely had uh, certain things about him that I really liked, but others I was just like, oh, God, this is so annoying. But as you guys can see, Lovetsy there, uh, five games, three goals, and from left midfield, you just can't take anything away from that. That is really, really good. Uh, Benzema, nothing there. And uh, how about this? Jackson Martinez, this is the man of the moment right here. Five games, six goals, two assists. That guy is just a monster. So, uh, yeah, if you're building a South American side, make sure you put him in because, my lord, he is just filthy. Uh, Kyle Walker, we just keep scrolling down. And that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, I want to show you some of the stats of some of the players that I played with. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to leave a like. And, more importantly, let me know who is the best player for you, who has the best stats on your team, and who is the worst that was your, the biggest disappointment for you guys. Anyways, hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.